Here's an experiment you can perform with any quote-unquote skeptic Facebook page. I've chosen the page A Science Enthusiast, which I very well could have included in my bait-and-switch atheist propaganda video. Now, much like the rebooted Bill Nye the Science Guy, a science enthusiast is really only interested in science when there's an agenda involved. And of course, like Bill Nye, he'll happily align himself with agendas where there's absolutely no science. Whenever anyone professes to love or believe in or be enthusiastic about science in this very vague, airy-fairy way, you can be sure there's a fairly narrow ideology at work. So let's look at some of the typical content on a science enthusiast. Okay, so here we have an anti-anti-vaxxer meme, standard skeptic page stuff. Oh, here's some blasphemous comedy. Either that or it's a historical claim with no evidence to support it. An anti-global warming skeptic meme. An anti-flat earther meme. This is such an easy victory for the skeptic community, you know. They've really just lulled themselves into the self-satisfied intellectual inertia. Here's another anti-anti-vaxxer meme. Of course, they refuse to let go of Jenny McCarthy. Here's a comic from Cyanide and Happiness where they say Jesus isn't real. Yes, a science enthusiast is a Jesus mythicist. He'll claim to have a skeptical, evidence-based worldview, but he'll happily dismiss expert opinion and uncritically accept claims contained in a meme graphic if it's ideologically convenient for him. If a person uses the same method to conclude that vaccines cause autism, that's wrong, of course, but if they do it and conclude that Jesus doesn't exist, that's okay. Another anti-flat earther meme? Hey look, Zac Efron's mom asked him where all his faith in God went, and he's holding up pictures of sciencey shit. Yes, these meme lords apparently know of some scientific fact that disproves God that's escaped the attention of the 65% of Nobel Prize winners in physics who are Christians. An anti-global warming skeptic meme? More blasphemous comedy? Here's an anti-anti-GMO article. Interestingly, he's taking aim at his fellow atheistical evidence-based rationalist over at the Young Turks. Here's a pie chart of reasons I'm an atheist, and it's 100% honestly examine the philosophical, historical, and scientific arguments for and against the existence of a deity. Oh, what do you want to bet this guy's historical and scientific arguments against God? Here's an anti-homeopathy article. Here's another anti-vaxxer meme. Here's a trifecta of sorts. It's anti-Flat Earther, anti-Jenny McCarthy, and apparently there's some other actress who advocates steaming your vagina. I have no idea what that's about. And finally, we have our old standby moron atheist meme, science, because you can't pray this shit into space. So how many anti-vaxxers do you know personally? Probably not many, unless you live in an affluent liberal enclave like Santa Monica or Beverly Hills. How many Flat Earthers do you know? Now, how many Christians do you know? I've drawn up this little chart listing the various skeptic community bugaboos and noting whether or not they're fringe beliefs and whether or not they can be scientifically disproven. And we see in these first entries, from the anti-vaxxers to the climate change skeptics, that they're within the realm of things that can be scientifically proven or disproven, and they're fringe beliefs, with the qualified exception of the climate skeptics, who seem to have gotten some purchase in the wider culture. And here at the bottom you have Christians, whose beliefs are certainly not fringe, and theism cannot be scientifically disproven even in principle. So this is my theory, take it or leave it. Skeptics really don't give a shit about science, at least not for its own sake. Skeptics really don't give a shit about anti-vaxxers or homeopaths, and no one with an IQ over 60 could sit there collecting easy victories over flat earthers without being bored out of their skull. Skeptics' real big bad is Christianity, and they know they can't disprove it, so they throw it in a pot with all these other fringe, easily disprovable beliefs to discredit it by association. It's a classic poisoning the well tactic. But here's the irony. Skeptics have poisoned their own well, and it goes back to the comparative prevalence of the anti-anthropogenic climate change crowd. Now, I'm completely non-prejudicial on this topic. I honestly haven't looked that deeply into it. But if there is, in fact, a valid case to be made for anthropogenic climate change, some of its most ardent advocates have helped discredit it by association, either through their willingness to adopt pseudoscience like the gender spectrum nonsense, or through their gratuitous blasphemy. If the skeptic community is hostile to the beliefs and values of the majority of Americans, why would those Americans defer to skeptics' convictions about anything? 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.